na mtazamaji tukiendelea ni kuwa serikali imewatahadharisha wanasiasa dhidi ya kwenda mikutano ya hadhara huku magari ya uchukuzi wa umma na masoko yakitajwa kuwa mahali ambapo ugonjwa wa covid-19 unasambazwa kwa haraka zaidi Katibu mwandamizi wa Wizara ya Afya Rashida Man amesema ukiukaji wa masharti ya kudhibiti COVID-19 ni tisho kubwa na huenda ukasababisha wingu la pili la maambukizi. Idadi ya jumla ya maambukizi ya COVID-19 humo nchini imefikia 1035,460 baada ya watu 108 zaidi kubainishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo leo huku watu wanane wakifariki. Wizara ya Afya imewatahadharisha wa Kenya dhidi ya kulegeza masharti ya kujikinga dhidi ya maambukizi ya COVID-19. Our teams have noted that there is continued overloading of some matatus and buses both in the urban and rural areas with no regard to the social and physical distancing required. Aman vile vile aliwahimiza wanasiasa kutoandaa mikutano ya watu wengi kwa sababu inawaweka wakenya wengi kwenye hatari ya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona. We urge them to desist from holding political meetings that draw large frenzied crowds. This is a recipe for disaster. Onyo hilo limetolewa huku nchi hii kina kili visa 104 vipya vya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona na kufikisha hadi 1035,460 idadi ya maambukizi ya virusi hivyo baada ya sampuli 2285 kupimwa. Amana alisema Wizara ya Afya iko tayari kushiriki kwenye majaribio ya chanjo kutoka kwa chuo kikuu cha Oxford ambayo sasa imeingia awamu ya tatu. Even if the earlier trial uh, may have to be scrapped for one reason or the other. I still believe that there is opportunity for us to uh, state our interest to be involved in the phase 3 uh, part of the study. Jumla wagonjwa 78 wamepona katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita ambapo 41 walikuwa kishughulikiwa nyumbani na 30 watatu walikuwa melazwa hospitalini. Kufikia sasa jumla ya watu 121557 wamepona. I want to appeal to those among us who are stigmatizing those who have recovered to please cease doing this stigmatization drives the disease underground and defeats efforts at containing the spread of the virus hata hivyo idadi ya waliwaga dunia sasa imepita 600 baada ya watu wengine nane kuaga dunia kutokana na virusi hivyo wakati huo huo Wizara ya Afya imepokea mchango wa vifaa vya kujikinga dhidi ya maambukizi ya COVID-19 kutoka kwa ubalozi wa Misri humu nchini. Kenya has donated 2 million US dollars to the AU COVID-19 response fund and pledged a further 1 million US dollars to support the Africa CDC. So ieleweke kwamba sisi hatupokei tu, sisi si wa kupokea tu tunapokea lakini pia sisi tunachangia we have presented uh, uh, 7000 uh, PPEs to be presented to the uh, Kenyan government in order to support the medical sector Nancy Okware Darubini ya Channel 1